Hello and welcome back to Warhammer Wednesday. I'm here with Jay. What's up, everybody? What's up, guys? So we have so far, what games have we played so far, Jay? Oh, my God. Uh, it's so many I can't count. No, um, we did uh, Warcry, which is my number one <laughs> so far. Uh, we did uh, Kill Team. We've done Necromunda. Last and last week we had a couple couple iterations of <laughs> yeah, Aeronautica. Aeronautica Imperialis. So we've been in the yeah. skies, we've been in the grounds, we've been in the ships, we've been out in the underhive. Yeah. We we've done everything, and now we're going out to sea in our first out of print, out of print, yeah, old school, old school uh, game. Warhammer game. Now this game has a bit of a reputation. Yeah. This game was considered a massive failure by some and perhaps the worst game Games Workshop has ever put out. Yeah, that, now, is, that is definitely debatable, though. It's debatable. Yeah. I'm curious. I want to know. So I got a painted box set. <laughs> this may be an incredible mistake, yeah. but we're going to try it out together. Dreadfleet has this reputation. It's kind of legendary amongst this. It's in the back alleys. People yeah. talk about it. Have you heard about Dreadfleet? Oh, yeah. That was that really expensive game that that sold so poorly yeah. that Games Workshop pulled it from the shelves and destroyed them. Now that may or may not be true. Yeah. I think what, what it's is a it's a ET uh, type ET uh, thing, yeah. ET type uh, uh, <laughs> uh, rumor. Legend. Yeah, legend, yeah. legend. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. Well, I think it actually stems from I think the Australian stores did do that, yeah. where they sent it back to their local headquarters. And then I think, you know, uh, rumor has it that the plastics were melted down to use something else because yeah. they just weren't selling. Another thing is, like here in Texas, Steve Jackson Games is known to do this, that if you're not selling a certain thing in Texas, you still get taxed on your unsold inventory. Yeah. So it's actually cheaper for them to buy them back or pull them back and destroy them to get the tax write-off. Well, if it was in Australia, that makes sense because sending them back from Australia to the oh, UK shit, shit. is just, that's, that's not worth it. Forget about. About. Yeah, forget. So that's probably yeah. what happened in that local region. Yeah, that shipping and then that was legend like, spread yeah. Yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Basically, it, it was a very, very expensive box set. I think it was like, a, but actually by today's standards, it's quaint. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but back then, this is like, what, 130 retail, maybe 150 retail. I don't really remember. But I think the caveat that turned off some Warhammer players was that it was a self-contained game that will never receive expansions. Right. They're like, this is just a sen one scenario, one kind of thing, and we're never doing anything for it again. And it came at the end of Man of War, mm so no, Man of War ended way long time well, ago. Man of War it, came it out came, in 1993, but it came way. at the end of everybody playing that, right? And then this was the next iteration. Right, people were excited. They were excited. They're like, Man oh, Man of War 2. No, no. Hold and up. And this Bump was the not Man of War 2. You're <laughs> yeah. so right, yeah. Jay. Yeah, that's what <laughs> Because that was me. Because, like, yeah. I, I like Man of War. I own multiple fleets in Man of War. And eventually we will get to Man of War. But this was something different. This was a self-contained box set where they took the, a lot of different races and put them all in. Combined, on, yeah. combined them. So yeah. you have the Grand Alliance. And then you also have... Uh, over here, here are some of the ships that came with it. You can see there's a variety of different ships from different races, and they just kind of combined them into one. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and play this this now infamous game and see, is it truly that bad, or did it just get a bad yeah, reputation? We're going to see. We're going to see. <laughs> maybe it was ahead of its time. Um, there was, I think, a blog post of a former d a GW em uh, designer employee that just slagged this game and said yeah. it was awful. The randomness were, were bad. I don't think he created it, but he like, I you know, did a review on it on yeah. his own after he went off on his own. So it kind of has a bit of a reputation, and I'm very curious to see um, what we think of it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> now, I will give the game already. I was impressed with the artwork. Um, in this, so let me show you a little bit of that. We'll go ahead and go full screen here. So here is the rule book, and you open it up. It's got some great freaking art yeah. that really evokes the, the, the scene here. It's got a story that we read, and I can read it for you here in the future. Um, and then just some great 
ideas yeah, on nice painting, pictures. really cool showcase on how to paint all these miniatures. And then, um, and then it even covers towards the end, the different captains. So this is who Jay is. This is Captain Jay, the Helden Hammer, which is yeah. that ship over there. Right there. Yeah, that ship right there. Big ass hammer in the front. And uh, he's got an ally. Uh, look at this badass pirate queen captain, Swordfish. Yeah. That's going to be that. She captains yeah, right that there. ship over there. And then he has various other people that can join him the Flaming Scimitar, Grimnar's Thunder, the Sea Drake. Uh, see various races. This is me, Captain Angry Joe. And this is the notorious Blood Breaver who is. Uh, stalking the seas, coming in and out of the mists. And the Grand Alliance has, he's really been notorious and just raiding and killing everybody. So the Grand Alliance decided to put together their greatest uh, seamen to go out and destroy him. Here are all of his buddies. I'm going to have this guy join me in the scenario that we're playing, the Curse of Zandri. But there's also Scabrus, uh, Shade Wrath, uh, with his weird uh, like flying ghost ship like the flying dutchman that's cool the black kraken and so uh we're gonna go ahead and start with scenario two the captive in the citadel the first scenario was basically just the two captains against each other the held in hammer versus the bloody reaper but and it's got a little story here that they were just kind of trading blows feeling each yeah. other out um and it's mainly showing you how to navigate now, we don't know how to navigate, so expect us to probably slam into some rocks here. Maybe, yeah. So we're going straight into the captain of the Citadel, and I can. Uh, here's how you set that one up, and I can read you the little story here uh, that, that sets that up. Uh, we'll get the overhead cam here, set, see if I've set that up right. Kind of. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, the overhead cam needs to put the, we need to back out a little bit. Okay. And there whoop, we go. Whoop. That's good. Here, can you pull it? Uh, well, no. It's just no. not. Yeah, no. Let's see. Uh, you're good. You're good. Oh, yeah, you yeah, can you're see good. my finger. Yeah. I'm good. You're good. All right, but I'm actually concerned that we've not set up correctly. Uh, no, we did. We did. We did. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, begin here. Um, so I'll read uh, the uh, starting thing here, where it is um, setting up the scene. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to show up at the end of turn two, one of my ships. The other of my ship is going to show up at the end of turn three. Uh, what Jay has to do is he, uh, there's this captain right here, and she's currently fighting at this, uh, yeah, she's this in fortress, the in yep. this black keep. And she needs to get the hell out of there and then board her ship and, and take off. But in order for her to do that, Jay needs to show up and put some damage into it. Yep. And then once he puts some damage into it, she can jump on her ship. And all she needs to do is get off the boards. Get edge. off the table. So it's basically just a, a quick tutorial scenario. And my ships have to stop her before she can. Yep. So we'll see how, how this goes. Um, so initiative. The Grand Alliance automatically wins the roll off for this okay. particular one. So we've already done that. All right. So let's go ahead and start this bad boy. Now, the reason why I zoom in here is because you know, we'll, yeah. we'll just focus on the things that, that need to be focused on. So since this is the first time playing, I'll just um, do a brief overview. It's four phases, actually five. Initiative, status, fate. And I think this is where the we more controversial the yeah. one happens. It's yeah. a little too random for people. And then action, and then the end phase. In the end phase, you just check victory. Most of the shit happens in the action. So let's go ahead, Jay. You have first go. Yeah. So, um, but before that, we do status. This is the phase where you attend to ongoing effects, like yeah. we're on fire and stuff and yeah. shit like that. We don't well, have any of that. None of that. Okay. Uh, phase three, fate. This is where the game itself gets to act. All manner of weird and wonderful things can happen in this part of the game. The fate begins with the first player, that's you, drawing a card from the top of the fate deck and reading it aloud. Alright. 
Whale of the Banshee. The wind <laughs> is usually low. Uh, the wind's usually low howl rises from the to the deafening soul screaming uh, crescendo. Mm -hmm. Put this card in play. Whilst this card is in play, all command checks have a minus one modifier. Ah, shit. Okay, roll a d6 in each uh, status phase. On a three plus, this card is discarded. Okay, so go ahead and put it right in front of you in yeah. the C so that we know that that is currently, what's the title of the card again? Whale of the Banshee. So Banshees, Banshees are screaming loud. And it looks like the wind speed is at uh, five. All right. Okay, uh, now get this. After we do that, the second player does the same. Can you draw me a card and I'll read it? Here you go. Push that over a little bit more. Can you reach? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> cackling winds. So not only are there banshees screaming, but the winds are cackling. So do, do we add the wind? We add the win together, right? Yeah, well, I think so. Uh, put this card into play. While this one is in play, randomly determine the wind's gauge position at the beginning of each warship's action phase. Oh, oh. brother. Wow. Uh, see page 21. Roll a d6 in each status phase. On a 2 plus, this card is discarded. So it'll. Luckily, this card is going to get rid of itself quick. Yeah, but it's going to change the win as soon as yeah. one Whilst this goes. card is in play, randomly yeah. determine the win gauge position at the beginning of each, each warship's yeah. phase. Okay, so, we'll so we need to do that now. Because now, after we've done two fate cards, we go into the action phase. Jay, um, the first player chooses one of his warships uh, that he has not already chosen. Then he may re resolve the actions available to that warship. Yeah. So choose one of your warships. Okay, so this one. Okay. Well, immediately okay. we have to do Cackling Wind. Okay. So go ahead and roll a blue die. All righty. One. One. <laughs> You're stays joking. Right where it is. You're joking. <laughs> it stays where it's at. <laughs> okay, so what was funny about that is that's what we rolled initially yeah. as 1-1 one, one for the wind position. So the wind position literally S stays, stays right exactly there. You could see the wind counter right there behind Jay's ship. Yeah. Right there. So it actually stays on 1-1. One, one. If it had changed to 1-2, it would be placed right there. But, all right. So let's go. So, um, so now you do orders. Would you like to issue an order? And in this game, every player has a card of five order cards. And Jay can issue an order, any of these orders he likes. However, because there are banshees screaming, uh, he'll get a negative one to his roll. Jay, would you like to issue right. an order? So I'll do the full speed ahead. Okay, and just so everybody knows. Well, do I have to? Do I have? You to don't issue have an to order? issue an order. No. Okay, not after. I'll, okay, I'm so to let everybody know, the orders are the same Actually, for both yeah, players. Actually, I will do the full because I got to get up there. <laughs> I, I forgot. Full I forgot speed ahead, story. hard a starboard, hard a port, repair, and fire as she bears. So repair, fire. Uh, turn better to one side, turn better to the other side, and go faster. All right, so roll on the dice. Now Jay's looking at his ship card here, yeah. and he's determining uh, via the, uh, let's see, whole crew, no, the command. Yeah, what command. is your command value? My command is three plus. Three plus. So, so it'll be a four plus. It'll now be a four plus to try to go all ahead full. I hope you fail. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> regardless yeah, work. of the Banshee's screaming, he was I able to, to... I get to full speed ahead. Yeah. And so Jay was able to scream louder than the Banshee. 2d6 uh, forward move straight line. So I get to go eight. Holy eight shit. Inches. Okay, and here is the movement rule. All right. I'll go from here to here. But that's just a, an addition to... Um, it's in addition to your movement phase? I, well, I, I believe so. You may attempt to issue an order. Um, so let me read it real quick. Uh, the captain issues worship an order. A warship has been successfully... After he has After finished, it has yeah, finished all, all other, other moves. So you okay, add so that on. Yeah, so I would go... 
Actually, I would go tw just go 12 and then... You resolve it after. Yeah, so... I'd go 12. I'm done with all my moves. Then I'd go to an extra 8 more. Now, why would you go 12? Because my speed is 8... Or 12. My speed is 12. Okay. Actually, and my speed is... Now, don't forget the wind is yeah. behind you. So it's that is 20. a special game term. Uh, we calculate up the speed of the two cards. Yeah. So my speed is actually 20. If you'll show me those two cards. There you go. Now, why is the speed 20? Well, because it's you, eight more on the card. Yeah. yeah. You take these values. So that's five plus three. That's the speed of the wind. So the wind is eight plus Jay's normal speed of 12, he can move up to 20 because he's moving with the wind. And actually, I'm and not going to... I think Jay not, just committed... No. I think he overshot. Well, I'm not going to go... I don't have to go all that whole... On thing. that first movement, but you must do the all-ahead full. Must move forward yeah. what you rolled on your all-ahead full. Well, in that case, then... Um, and you must at least move the wind speed, which is eight. Right. So I'll just go the the so sixteen. Okay. All right. Sixteen, and then I can change my direction with the, the forty-five. Right. Is that how that works? And then I'll shoot you. Whenever I do get to shoot, shoot at the the citadel. Wait. How did you do that? That turning? Yeah, the turn. So oh, you no, put the. That's, put, that's so you, you get do, the you one do, every. You do this. Yeah, just like that. But I, I really don't have to do all the way, so I can go like that. Yeah, you don't have to do it all. All right, cool. Now, uh, that was your. Now you did your movement. Wait a minute. No, you can't what? You can't do that. I can't turn? No. Why? Go back to where you were. So undo your turn. Yeah, let's go, let's go back here. All right. So what you need to do right now is do your movement. Do the minimum. Uh, what speed are you going? Um, we'll go. You can elect to go the minimum of the wind speed, 8. Yeah. And the maximum of your movement of 12. What would you like so to do? So I'll go 10. Let's How about that? Okay. All right, let's try this shit again. So, 10. Now, ten. what is the handling of your ship? Uh, five. So you need to go at least five before you turn. Would right. you like to turn at, at during any of that? I can go, I'll turn now. You'll turn now. Yeah. So go ahead and turn now. And just to get it straight lined up. There right. Now, you do your all ahead full. Which was another eight. Which is another eight. Sets me up just fine. And you're still good to go. Yeah. Because uh, the way the arcs work is from the base. Yeah. 45 degree from the base. So he can open up on the citadel. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that is the end of the movement sub phase. Now, the warship may fire a broadside at a target within range and line of sight. Well, what's your range? Do we know range? Oh, yeah. The range is these range oh, bands. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah measure these range bands so, so it looks like it's at 10 uh, short range the first band second band third band oh one so medium range two yeah three okay yeah medium range so anything between six and 12 inches is medium so that's going to need a five plus to hit so what is your broadside score jay it is six all right roll six dice you're looking for fives Broadside to help out your what's the chip's name? Uh, something. I got one. One hit. Badoosh. All right. Target takes armor saves. So I'm going to. He's helping out uh, the pirate chip who chip uh, is trying to steal stuff. Captain. Arenzia. Salt. Salt. Salt spit. Salt spire. Spire. Okay, four plus to block this. What? I, I got. I rolled three ones in a row. That's good. I Don't have rolled three ones in a row now. 
No blocky for you. The first wind, the second wind, and my armor save. <laughs> One damage has been taken on the Citadel. <laughs> and I need two damage to release her, right? Yes. Okay. But two successful damage. So right. if I block it with my armor right, right, right. save, it doesn't count. All right. So that is the end of... Wait. Let's see. Let's make sure that we've got... So after firing is... I believe boarding. Well, you're not boarding yeah. anybody. Um, and then it will go on to the next ship, which currently um, is me. Uh, but I have no ship, and I come on at the end of turn uh, turn one. One. Yeah. And then I think we're doing the wind wrong. Why are we doing the wind wrong? Uh, we're resolving the wind wrong. No, we're not. That's what uh, Trish time is saying. All right, well, uh, let's go ahead to yeah. go to a oh, rules okay. question. Tris time, go ahead and explain it to Jay while I look up some other things. So the left number on the fade card is the strength. The right number is how far the token moves. Okay. What are you talking about? Okay, so there's so we were right with the, the wind strength, but the other side is how far the token moves. There's that other <coughs> little number. Okay, so when we drew it, we were supposed to uh, start moving the wind. Okay, is that is yeah. that all right? All right, so it's on twenty-three, page twenty-three. I think you're right. Okay, we're going. God damn it! <laughs> Place yourself in your deployment zone. All right. <coughs> Again, thank you, Trist. Time always got our backs. Like, what was it? Eight by it was six fifteen by inches by out and sixteen inches up. Six or six inches up and fifteen inches six. out. Six. Uh, All right. So we'll start there. So basically, when I drew the fate card, that's when I go ahead and make these wind changes. Uh, so the first one was the banshee, uh, the ban uh, wailing banshee. Uh, it says five in a counterclockwise uh, position. Okay, so one, two, four, five. All right, go ahead and place it there. All right. Okay, now we drew cackling winds. And that's just when one. this card is in play. It no, no. it is uh, three in a clockwise direction. So go three back. Okay, so that's where the wind is. Okay, so what's the wind strength? The wind strength now, and that's the number on the left side, right? Five plus one, wind strength is six. Okay, so six. Now we got that. Right. Now, just to show if anybody is following along here, so this number here is just the rotations. So we did five in anti-clockwise, then we did three in clockwise. Uh, the current wind speed was one, then it went up to five. Question, is it just five now, or is it a combination I since these both remain in play? I think it's a combination. So we're going to say six wind speeds, so both of these remain in play. Yeah, okay, sounds good. Yeah, I believe it's combined. Again, let's try this again. So, I will not do an order. Let's let's take that order back because it's not needed. All right. That's not needed for me to do. Um, and I'm going six more than twelve. All right. What are you saying here? I'm not gonna do an order because it's not needed. Okay. All right. So, twelve. do that i'm gonna do 18 because what it's the fuck the wind and my speed right and then i'm gonna turn turn a little bit you can't turn at the end of the full all ahead full when do i turn oh i turn Before at that all at that full. 15 increment then right how, how many did you roll on the all ahead full no 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 I'm not doing the all ahead full. I'm oh, I was, right. was oh, going to okay. turn at the end of my turn. Oh, well, then, then you can turn at the yeah, end yeah, of your yeah. turn. I, I thought you were still doing the all ahead full. No, no, no. I'm good. Okay. There you go. 
Okie dokie. Now, I will fire. We're gonna... <laughs> nah, I mean, look at how much it changed. Yeah, it changed the position of your ship slightly. But it, wouldn't it be keep... better? When it, Let's just when it be, when I have a, a better, because um, I'd be in band one, a better chance to hit, right? Yeah, you would. You would hit on fours. Yeah. Yeah, let's, I mean, I don't, I don't mind. Let's just, uh, the way we should play these is we should always play to maximum efficiency. Yeah. Until we get serious. And it <laughs> fucking same. Still one It'd be hit. the same the same outcome. Watch. Well, no, I would. Uh, because uh, now uh, I'm if you block armor it, roll. If you block it. I'm going to block it. Here we go. So, so um, just to, uh, for editing, uh, we came back in and we did the win slightly wrong. We fixed our win gauge, and this is where he ends up. He's actually ending up in close range with a full broadside. Yeah. And got one hit. I'm gonna try to armor save four plus. Armor save four plus. And a one again. That would be. That's that's awesome. That would be four ones. Four in ones a row. in a row. I mean, you're getting them out this of your is system. So weird. You're getting them out of your system. So okay. okay. So the exact same result. So the the exact same fucking result. Exact same result. So um, the, the Citadel has taken one hit. It can take two more before it releases your second. Two more or one more? Two more. So three total. Three total and she comes out. I thought it was two total. No, three total. Okay. All right. So now you're done and now my ship comes on and it says I set it up within one inch of the... Okay, so it's the late... The last, whichever the one would be draw, draw last would be um, the wind strength because um, it's not combined, so it would be the last one. So whatever, it would be five. So. <laughs> now you got you got to put it over there. Other side. Put on this side. Shut up, Jay. <laughs> it'd, it'd be more beneficial for you. Shut up, Jay. <laughs> I could say it'd it be, anywhere. Be, I could say it anywhere up on the northern edge. It'd be uh, more helpful to you if you go on this side. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What? Um. Now, do I just come in and stop, or am I allowed to move? Let's see here. If it's at the end of the turn, then I don't think I can move. <coughs> Deployment. Uh, Bloody Reaver arrives at the end of the fa in the end phase of turn two. Wait a minute. By rule, I don't come in until the, the end of turn two. Makes it even harder for me. All right, oh, Jay. Oh, the you get a whole nother turn, buddy. Oh. Oh yeah. That other one doesn't come in until turn two, right? No, this one. Oh, My that main one guy too? doesn't even come in until turn oh. two. My other guy doesn't come in until turn three. This is going to be oh. over in an instant. No, because I'm fucking shooting fucking cannonballs over this stupid citadel. Yeah, I, I hope you miss the right. citadel. Well, we got to do the fate cards again, right? Yes, sir. Well, well, they remain in play, actually. Remember, all of them? Those are the r ones that remain in play. Okay, so... So read the ones that are in play right now. So the crackling winds... At the beginning of each of the action phase, we got to do that one. So roll a d6 uh, in each status phase. Oh, so we, we should have... Most, the top most remains in play. Okay. We should have been rolling rolling uh, each status phase. Yeah, but each status phase is only when you're picking a ship. There was only one ship that went. Okay, so we roll again then for to see if that's Is that the topmost card? Yeah, that's the topmost card. Okay. So, uh, read it for us. Okay. Put this card in play. Always read the title of the card. Yeah, Crackling Winds. So, put this card in play. Whilst this card is in play, randomly determine the wind gauge position at the beginning of each warship's action phase. Okay, here we go. You and me. Five. Five. <laughs> All right, give me the wind gauge. Is it on your side? Yeah. yeah. Way back here. 
Okay, roll a d6. Each in each status phase on a two plus, this card is discarded. All right. Well, this would be a subsequent status phase. So yeah. roll. Uh, roll. This it is, is discarded. Yeah. All right. All right. So, so we no discarded. longer have to worry about that. So right? now, because we're in a new turn, right? This would be a new turn, right? Well, hold on. Yeah, it'd be yeah. a new turn. It would be uh, so you know, we. But that that card still remains in play. What? No, it's discarded. That stays in play until discarded. Yeah, it right. just got discarded right. now. Right. But that was when we get to the status phase. Okay, phase three, fate card. Draw a fate card. Yeah. And then I draw a fate card. I don't like that. Uh, port. No starboard. No port. All right, randomly select a warship from the fleet within the most warships in play. That's Jay! Hey, that's me. If both fleets have the same war randomly determine the fleet. Okay, so warships must immediately make a 45 degree change of heading. Roll a D6. On a roll of one, two, or three, it's to the port. On a four, five, or six, it's a to the starboard. Ah, so that's why players are like, what the fuck? Yeah. I set it up all nicely, and now this random thing is going to fuck so me over. So which way is... Which one? I don't no. know that shit. Starboard. No, port. Which way is that? Which, which way is that? Which one's left and right? What do you mean? Port? So uh, here's how an easy way to remember it, Jay, is port is left. So you have four letters in port, and you have four letters in left. Now you'll always know port and starboard. Yeah, okay. You think so? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So on a four, five, or six, it goes... What, port? Left, yeah. So what'd you do? What'd you roll? Three. Three? Yeah. Left. left. Port. Ha-ha. <sighs> they still be in the art, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. You got it. Now, notice that this has a... Uh, Wind change of clockwise two. Yeah. So one, two. Yeah. And then it also has a new wind speed of four, right? Okay. But watch what happens. <laughs> I immediately draw another fake card. So what's the fucking point of yeah. that? Yeah. I it guess it changes, right? I guess yeah. Now it changes. Now it's now it's a, so basically you wouldn't resolve the first one because you know the second one is coming. Yeah. Don't resolve the wind on the first fate card because you know you're well, always you going to draw a second card. Well, I mean, no. Oh, you're right. You yeah, do you have, have to, to because, because it would then just, yeah, yeah. it's called cumulative. Basically, don't resolve the wind of the first. Fate right, card. right, right, right. All right. This is Blood Sharks. The warship nearest the wind gauge is followed by a hall gnawing Blood Shark. That is J. If the warship is at anchor you're not or is run aground during the status phase it must draw damage cards until it oh wait a minute okay so the one nearest to that no that's you i was about to say yeah. you're about that thing is about to get fucked by blood sharks but it's you it must draw damage cards until it draws a whole damage card applying it and discarding the rest so yeah. it's free damage against jay jay draw the top damage card that's only if i'm in anchor though no Oh, you might be yeah. right. If this warship is at anchor or yeah. is run aground, yeah. it must draw so damage. Card. It doesn't apply. You're right. I'm good. Cause I'm now, it, it is a status, and it, I think the red ones stay in play. I need to find the uh, part where the... Okay, so it's about four inches from the camera. Put this... About four or five inches from the camera is where the focus point is. Yeah. All right. So this one stays in the flesh. I, I don't know. Ask Tris time. I think the red cards do stay says, in play. It says 23, page 23. <laughs> <laughs> On the side, there's a little it says status next to it. So I guess if that stays with this ship then if I ever do 
anchor or front of ground, then I would take damage from this damage. All right, I'm going to go ahead and um, read through the Resolving Fate cards, since Fate cards seem to be the only problem yeah, in this game. Is a, it seems like it's a big mechanic of this game. All right. To resolve a Fate card, simply follow the text. Most Fate cards are resolved immediately, yeah. then discarded. So that's what the normal ones are. Yeah. Um, others are not resolved straight away. Some fake cards are also status cards yep. and okay. stay in play. So, okay. that's so that stays place. there. Even if a fake card is not resolved until later in the game, it will still affect the wind gauge when it's drawn. So that's what we're doing the counterclockwise. That's yeah. what you, we said, or clockwise or counterclockwise. So you move the wind gauge, then you discard. Alrighty. Uh, some have only relevant in certain situations. This category have spell or upgrade. We'll get there when we get there. Mm -hmm. mm, that's basically it. All right. So I think we know how to do fake. So this moving on. Yeah, the status will change um, depending on where the wind is and who's closest to it. The wind token. So I, this could like potentially be on yours and your ship. The status. Okay. So. Uh, now that the status phase has uh, completed, uh, now we need to do What's it? your orders phase. Orders? I'm not doing any orders. Okay. And then um, movement. I have to go. What's What's the wind speed? It is four. Yeah, keep it near you. Yeah, it's right there. Well, it's in no, the, the current top one. one that's in play is the wind. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's one. So you have to move at least one. At least one. So I'll I'll do that. Uh, move that. Does it move you out of arc? No. Um, uh, not if I. Okay, so there's one. Yeah, you're still in arc. Still in arc. Okay. So I'm gonna try to shoot again. You got it. Uh, six six dice, and I'll need four. I again. think you're still in so short range. Yeah. That's more like. No, I only, only got two fucking two. Maybe I won't roll a one this time, Jay. Yeah. And then the she can, Citadel is she can taking get out. two damage. She can get out and fucking... One block, one hit. All right. Oh, thank God. The Citadel is holding for one more turn. Ugh. That's horrible. I should have ran up on it. Yeah. Or done the boarding action. I think yeah. the boarding action would have got it got, instantly. Yeah. Okay. So now we go, uh, you have no more ships, since technically that other ship is not yet uh, on there without its captain. So we go to my turn, finally. It is the end of turn two. I come in. Yeah. My turn um, is over, because I think I come in at the end of it. Let me double check. Bloody Reaver arrives in the end phase of turn two. Yeah. Yep. All right, the Curse of Xandri arrives in the end phase of turn three. Okay, so it is turn two, uh, but it is the end phase of turn two. So, Jay, we are moving on to turn three. Yep. Uh, roll let's for do initiative. initiative. I rolled a six. You can have it. Um, <coughs> and I want it. I think I want it. I would say so. Okay, so initiative, we got it. Status, uh, nobody's suffering statuses. Yeah. Um, uh, what about the fake card? Is there anything on that status? No, because um, it's I'm no, still moving. Run I'm mo yeah, I'm moving. Because you got blood sharks yeah, in the water. Uh, not anchoring. All right, fate. This is the dumb part. Uh, go ahead and you take a fake you, card. You go first. You take yours first. And I. Oh right. <clears throat> and I'll take mine. Jay, can you control those cards? Yeah. Get them closer to you and just throw yeah. them to me. Okay. All right, so here we go. The fate. Wrath of the Sea Giant. Place the Sea Giant Auxiliary card in play. Yes. Hopefully it fights for me. Mm -hmm. See page 43 for the Sea Monster rules. Uh, sea Giant Auxiliary card. So there was a few auxiliaries. You can get the Sea Giant. Oh, okay. Then check to see which warship is closest to the wind gauge. That would be Jay. Yeah. 
That warship's opponent places the sea giant one inch from that Vegas. warship. Ah, <laughs> this giant. card is discarded if the sea giant is removed from play, but this remains in play. All right, there's the sea giant card. What, do I get him? No. I get him. I get to place him one Slimy inch. Slimy fishy <laughs> underneath. Uh -huh. So there. give me the sea giant. There's that. I guess that's it. I don't know. Yeah, that. Do you see the card? Does it have an image on the card? No. Yeah, kind of like, kind of, kind of, sort of, but not really. Can I see the auxiliary card? So I can see what he does. He's got a speed of six, hole two, or hole three, crew two, handling, broadside. The ti a titanic sea giant. I love it when you do this. Its slimy flesh, ravaged by the curse of the undeath, rears up out of the water to attack intruders. See page 43. Well, then why you have a card, you bastard? Yeah. 43. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's only going to roll two dice against you with its crew two in a boarding action. Um, but when does that happen? Let's see. Place to see it, then check to see if we go on and watch place it. Card is discarded. And then. Monster rules. See monster rules on page 43. Okay. All right, I control the sea monster, uh, and then so I'm. Uh, have you gone yet? No, no, because no. this is the beginning. The beginning. So we gotta yeah. wait for that. We All gotta right. wait for my uh, sea monster activation okay. phase. Okay. So, so go ahead. The next uh, fate card is a status curse of the undead mariner. Randomly select a warship without uh, without a mortal mortally wounded captain from the fleet uh, with the most warships. In play. Oh, great. Uh, if both, yeah, okay. So, the captain of the of that warship suffers a minus one to its command checks for the rest of the game. So, it's one of these two captains. Um, it's going to be low and high. So, low. So, this one will have a status of minus one to the modifier. So, also, we have to well, change. Nobody knows what this one is. What is this one? This the swordfish okay. captain will have a negative one. Negative one modifier. Also, we need to move it counterclockwise four, and the wind speed is now at one. One, two, three, four. Now right. wind speed one. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> All right. Well, now it is um, actually the uh, action phase, and the fir uh, the first player chooses one of his warships. I'm actually going to have you go first. So the player that wins the initiative, he decides to move first. He is known as the first player. If he decides to move second, he is known as the second player. I want to see how you move first. Okay. So go ahead and you go first. So you've got to go with the Helden Hammer. Alright, so it's at a one. What's that thing move? It moves six, right? Yeah. And uh, you have to be how close to one like inch. So he's right now, if you were to do nothing, he's in range yeah. of attacking you. So I will move <coughs> You're gonna have to move what? Six, uh, seven inches away yeah, to not be at attacked least by him. I'll move probably. Yeah. yeah, I'll move. Move the eight, and then turn. This way. All right. If you will place him two inches away from you because I'm going to have the sea monster go its full move. So 
Don't I don't I shoot first and then you move? Yes, sir. Okay, Actually, so let sorry. me shoot first. And that's gonna be is it the third one. Is it the third? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Third band. No, it's still second in band? second. Yeah. Okay. Six dice, hitting on fives. Broadside! One. One. Oh my gosh, come well, on. Well, if I save this with a four plus, the Citadel holds. If not, the Citadel explodes, releasing the badass chick captain. Ah. What? What? Ah. How am I rolling so many ones? <laughs> uh, thank you. Boom! Big fire. Yeah, I'm gonna get fire. Now. Now, can I, uh, can that one move this turn? I'm gonna read it. Yeah. Okay. The Citadel's walls are breached. Captain Salt Spite. Once this occurs, she rejoins her warship in that turn's end phase. Uh, okay, uh, so she can't move till the next turn. Can't move till the next turn. Yeah. She's ready to go. Oh, and you know what? Uh, I, f I forgot. Let's go ahead and, and, and revive. Let's, like, kind of back it up. Uh -huh. The Forbidden Citadel actually has a broadside of two. Okay. So he would have been able to fire at you twice. Okay. So we'll just roll four dice here for all the cannons on the Forbidden Citadel yep. that were firing at you. And uh, you were at close range at one point. Yeah. So we'll just say two of them. You, you received two hits. Okay. What's your armor? My armor is five plus. So uh, not good. Was that I get I get a save? Yeah, that's your armor is your save. Okay. So roll five plus, otherwise you take two points of damage. Uh, I got one. So you take one point of damage. Oh, now what I'll is the health on or uh, your hull? Fuck, I don't know. It says on your hull. Oh, uh, hull four. Okay. Okay. So you have three hull left. Okay. I'm gonna do it right there. Sure. Okay. That's it. Yeah, we're yeah. up to speed. Now the Citadel is destroyed, so it will no longer be firing at you. Otherwise, yeah. it would have fired right now. Okay. Um, and uh, it is now either the Sea Monster's turn or my ship's turn. So I'm going to make the Sea Monster move and just put him two inches away from you. Okay. I'm going to chase you down. Okay, then you would go with your second ship, but she's not yet ready. Yep. So now I finally get to move. Angry Joe on the high seat. Oh, I need a damage card. That's right. Okay. Oh, yeah. So that's the other mechanic in the game is damage. So that wouldn't be one damage. It'd just be the damage card. Right? Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, actually. So uh, draw the damage so card it says, and read it. It says crew. The target takes one crew damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so just, so just put the card on your card, and that yeah, reminds you. Yeah, it goes you. right there. And then that you already have yeah. one crew damage, yeah. Here, throw that at me. Okay. Cool. Uh, show the damage. Yeah, and I have, so instead of six crew, I would have five crew. Okay. So the Bloody Reaver speed is 10. Okay. The wind is behind me, and the wind speed is what, sir? It is one. What do you have? Which which is the card that's in play? The the curse was the curse of the mariner was the last one. Mm -hmm. And that's wind speed one. One. So yeah. I get to add. I can go eleven. Yeah. Give me the. Uh, here, no, I got it. I got it here. here. I can just eleven. Turn. 
Oh, so he's saying that uh, Tristheim said that you also hit with the four. Yeah, we, we, we did. Yeah, so we you got two hits and I, I saved the one and then we got the one crew damage from it, which was the crew. Okay, I'm firing in the chick captain's ship before she starts moving. I got here just in time, in the nick of time, and firing a broadside. That's four dice. Uh, four dice at uh, eight inches, so that's medium range, uh, hitting on uh, five. Is there anything for having that thing in the way? The rocks? The terrain? No, what you need to do is you need to draw a line of sight, and I can draw a line of sight. So as long as I can draw a line of sight from my hull to your hull, yeah. uh, the base doesn't actually count in this particular. So any part of my hull to a part of your hull, and I, I got it. Um, and no, you don't get any kind of bonus from that as far as I'm aware. Um, <coughs> here we go. Uh, so I needed five, so we got two hits. I think the four hits you because you're first volley. You get a plus one because it of your first volley. First volley? Yeah. What does that mean? The first time you shoot at at something. Since when? That's what Tristan's saying. That's first volley. Yeah. Oh, three three plus to hit. Page thirty two. I don't like Tristan helping anymore. So uh -huh. you, you shouldn't have a three plus to hit. <laughs> first broadside. To represent the warship's crew packing their can as a high quality gunpowder, the first broadside fires in each scenario has a plus one modifier. Did you never get a first volley? No, that's fine. Uh, well, I gotta, uh, let's actually play by a rule. I've got a first volley here. And, um, and it's breaking fire because uh, it's on the So then front that's of three hits. Yeah. And I get raking fire on your front and yep. plus one. All right, so three. I take three damage cards then. Yeah. All right, so wheel. Well, no. First, you take your armor save. Oh of yeah, that yeah, chick's yeah, yeah, yeah. Ship. Okay. What is her? She has six. Oh, that's. Oh, that's okay. I might as well just take the fucking cards. Oh, uh, I'll take two hey. cards, which I just did. All right, so I got wheel and speed. My speed goes down by one from uh, 11 to 12. Mm -hmm. uh, the warship uh, for the wheel, the warship's wheel has been jammed in place. Roll a d6 on a one, two, or three. The warship may only change heading to the port whilst uh, it has its card on a four, five ship. Uh, you can only change to the starboard. Okay, right, so see which way we can only go. We can only go starboard. So we can only go right. right. All right, that's kind of kind of flavorful. I like that. <coughs> yeah. Well, damage cards are, you know, been in uh, X-Wing and it's been so in Star Wars Armada. Uh, what is the date of Star of uh, X-Wing's release and Armada's release? Tristan, look it up. Go ahead, Jay. That's it? Yeah, that's it for me. Yeah. And that's it for you because she can't yeah. move yet. Right. Moving into turn four. But at the end of turn three, my second ship comes on the board. Yeah. So where should I put the second ship? All she has to do is get off the board. So I'll put it right over here <coughs> within one inch. So here comes the scimitar, the curse of Zandri, rather. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So the so first thing. now this is the turn four. Turn four, and we roll okay. for roll off for initiative. initiative. Okay. Six. Four. Okay, I get to again. choose to go yeah. first or second. I want you to go first, so I can set up my shots. All right. Oh, we got to do the fake cards first. Yeah. Before I move. Okay. Blech. 
All right, so I have initiative, and then you have your fake card. So my fake card is Reign of Snakes. A squall of poisonous sea snakes <laughs> rains from the skies. Each warship <laughs> must immediately fight a separate exclusive boarding action <laughs> resolved against the sea snakes. <laughs> crew of who one. Who designed this game? Uh, it's too random like that. Damage to the snakes. Or two two or things every turn to fuck with us. Yeah. It's well, ridiculous. Let's do the wind. So the wind will go uh, <coughs> clockwise one. Okay. And it's at one. power four right now. Power four. Okay. So a bunch of snakes are falling so on every <laughs> ship. <laughs> so let's do let's do your first. Yeah, cards. we'll do mine first. And I have a crew of six. All right, how is the boarding action resolved? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, the boarding action is resolved very um, uh, simply uh, by reading uh, the board action rules. <laughs> uh, okay, on a one through four, no effect. On a five or six, uh, that scores a victory for that particular side. So uh, your crew are fighting snakes. Okay, so I get um, the number of dice equal to my crew. Correct. Okay, so five dice. How many do the snakes get? One crew. What? Yeah. So th but that sucks. Well, I mean, there's a chance they can. I guess there's a chance if all your guys are caught sleeping and yeah. a bunch of snakes drop on them while they're sleeping. Go yeah. ahead and roll. Okay, so. Five or six. You can miss all yours, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I could. I mean, I hit so him you twice. Get two victories versus the snake. I'll roll for the he, snake. And, and he could get one. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Could be a draw. So one. So and, but my I, one victory to your two victories. Yeah. Uh, if the players have scored the same, they would then have a draw. Uh, <coughs> each warship have to draw one damage. But you got more than me, which means the snakes are have to draw a damage card and they are defeated. Yeah, I think, yeah. For that particular uh, ship. For that for that ship. So now my next one, the chick. Um, uh, I only have a crew of three on this one. Salt, salt. And you said four, five, or six, correct? Fight. Five or six is the only thing. You oh, five or six. On. Oh, nothing. See, uh -oh. in this case, <laughs> here comes the snakes. Come on. Snake bite that bitch. Yeah! Oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the snake bit her. Oh, my gosh. So, oh, the wind, hole. Uh, take one damage card. So, the hole takes one. one. Mm -hmm. Ugh. And how All much right. damage can her ship take? It can take three. Okay, so she's got two health left. Yeah. Those snakes. All right. Let's we'll do it again. Do we do well, We no. keep on going, right? No, no. That's no? it. Or that's it? it. Yeah, because okay. you had more victories. The snakes have more victories. All right. Each player combines the number of victories, blah, blah, blah. Players have scored the same number of victories. They've drawn the fight. Each warship, damage card, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now my ships, though. It's not just your ships, because these are running, raining from the sky. So Captain Angry Joe has to deal with snakes. My crew is seven. Jeez. These guys are like to fight. So I need fives and sixes, and I got two victories. All right, here we go. It doesn't matter. You got Nothing. no victories. So right. we killed all those freaking snakes. All right. Now, over here with Egypt. the Cursed of Zandri, these guys don't really like to fight. They only have a crew of four. So this is where these snakes go. It's like snakes on a plane, man. Give me nightmares. I got no victories. Oh, I got one. No way. Oh, yeah. Ouch. Back at you. Here's God a, damn it. Here's a damage for you. The snakes. Um... Double speed damage. The target takes two speed damage. There you go. So he currently is at speed eight. He's now at speed six. Okay. Okay. That's pretty cool. It's a little yeah, flavorful. It's flavorful, but, you know. I, I can I, see where I, it can be over, yeah, overbearing. Yeah. It's, too, it's just some, too much. It's a beer and pretzels thing. Yeah. And that's fine for playing with, like, kids and stuff. But I can see why maybe it didn't catch on with, like, competitive, you know, a tournament games, yeah. workshop game players. Um, and we still got your fate to do. <laughs> Which, see, th that's <laughs> overtuned. So here's my fate. Warp Storm. If the Scabarus is in play, which it's not, then at the end of its broadside subphase, it may discard this card to target all warships within this range 
all warships within this range take an additional amount of this damage. So I just get a free badass attack. Yeah, if everybody. That, right? If that ship was on yeah. the board, it is not. Okay. So, but okay. So look at the wind and uh, the which the way wind, it goes. Uh, clockwise by a six. I hate this. One, two, three, four, five, six. six. And us. wind speed is now two. Oh, great. So discard your uh, card. Uh, yeah, it's our card. Yeah. All right. So I want initiative, so you go first. We need a wind speed, like, yeah, number thing. Yeah, it would have been better. So we can know. Um, all right, so I'll go first. I can go 6, 12, plus 2. I can do that. I'm not going to do any orders. I don't see a need for it. But I do need to go, what was it, 5 before I can turn, right? Current wind speed is 2. You only need to go 2 forward. Well, I have to go 5 before I can turn. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're handling. What's the handling on your bad boy? Yeah. It's a, it's a five. There's that. There's five. And I'm going to oops, this way. turn this way. I like the turn gauge. It's very I do easy. love the turn gauge. That is, that's my favorite part of this whole game. Yeah. <laughs> very simple. Yeah. Well, then you're actually I don't know how like I feel. A, a game called the rest Armada. Of it. It's uh, better than this. Is that five? So twelve plus two is fourteen. And five, nine more. Yeah, let's go there. I'll we'll shoot at you. Uh, which one? My 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 yeah, actual your, ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The oh, ship to ship combat, long range, sixes, fire. Yeah. Broadside. Pom 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 pom. Six, sixes. Got you once. You did. Uh, my armor value on this ship is a five plus. All right, here we go. I one. miss with another, another one. one. I love them. Give me a damage card. Here's your damage card, good sir. I don't know how I many hope ones you that sink. is. Hole, take one hole damage. Oh, 2012 was X-Wing. Yeah, so this game predates X-Wing and Armada with these damage cards. Yeah. Holy shit, one of the best mechanics of those games are the damage cards, and this game predated it. What, what is Breaking Fire? Hold on. What's uh, what Fire? about Star Trek Attack Wing? When did that come out? That was way after. Uh, Breaking Fire is if I'm driving into uh, towards you. Uh, I'll, I'll check Breaking Fire. What page is Breaking Fire? Because I never even saw it. Hopefully you're not thinking about the broad fire. Broad, broad. Breaking fire is if the broadside faces the front of the ship. So that's what I'm doing right there, right? Um, <clears throat> yeah. Breaking fire. Although an enemy showing only its bow or stern may be presenting a smaller target, a broadside that plows into the front or rear can tear through. No, because I'm I'm. Lightly on the side, yeah. so I'm showing you my side. It raking fire has to be set up really, really perfect. If a firing warship has the majority of its base within the four arc of its target, it is a plus one. The majority of your base is not within the four arc of you, this target. Sure. So I'll take that. If you were six inches forward, you would fuck me up. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's fine. I'm good with it. All right. Uh, so that's the end of yours. Now yep. mine begins. Yep. I need to move at least two because I'm going to try to kill her because she's the main objective. If she gets out, then we're fucked. And I think if I kill her, then we win. So we're going to go two forward, and we're just going to uh, fucking rake fire her again. That's not raking fire. Yes, the majority, of, the majority of my ship is still within her four arc. No, I don't think so. Stop, stop that, Jake. No, I'm serious. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm, you're, I'm you, showing you right you, now a laser pointer that the majority of my ship, I'd say about more this part of the ship and over, is still within your front arc. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. I got you. 
All right, bloody. That's uh, broadside four. So that's oh, look, uh, uh, look, plus one. He said he said no. Well, I just showed it on on screen multiple times. So, oh, you're saying due due to the rock blank? Uh, yeah, I, are I you agree. just making up rules? I now, agree Tristan? with that. I agree with that. Well, now I have because to go into the, rules. Well, because you're let's let's read get, about the being rocks, blocked so. by uh, I'm with you. Island. I'm with you. Let's understand the the rock rules and stuff. So uh, rules on rocks. Uh, what do we call that? Obstacles, maybe. Yeah. Terrain. Obscured target. It's probably an obscured target. Let's check that out. Okay, if your warship is positioned so this target is partially obscured, your ability to fire broadside. You're not partially obscured. Yes. I no, am. you're not. Yes. No, you're I not. Am. Demonstrate it to me. Right there. From you to it's any part of my my port. If your warship is positioned so that it's target. The rock it, it's yeah, the target, target but is the partially obscured. Right, because the rocks mm -hmm. block your back end. Mm -hmm. The back end of your ship. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. Partial shot. Um, then, when firing a partial shot, the firing warship's broadside characteristic is halved. So, oh, okay. Okay. So, two dice instead of four. Yeah. Okay. But we are raking fire, and uh, are we at close range? No. Close range, I think, is uh, six, right? One through six, yeah. So five plus. These these yep. hit on five pluses. Okay. Miss. No damage. We're good. All right. Now she gets to go for the first time. All right. So wind is two this way. I don't have, I don't get any benefit or negative because it's not behind me in my rear arc. Mm -hmm. It's on my side arc, so. And I can only turn right. Yeah, because if of you want the to status. turn at all. Yeah, if, because of the status. This one. So look in here, you just slam straight yeah. into this rock, so yeah. you would want to go here, turn right, and then get off the board. Yeah, that's what I'm going to try to do. So. I'm gonna go up my minimum handling for five. a turn. Five. Yeah, so five. <laughs> my little turn. Yep. I'm gonna come at you, bro. Okay. Get out of here. Uh, yep, you're right. Okay, uh, you've set that up now. So now I've got to go. And uh, what's the wind speed? Two? Yeah, two. two. But is, there's no effect if it's on your sides. No effect if it's on my side. It says a handling of three, so I need to go three inches before I can broadside you. Three inches, then I'm gonna turn the broads to give you one broadside before you leave. Nope. No. Mm -hmm. You gotta go I, I you can go three can go more. Forward, yeah. yeah, you go three more. And do raking. Um Yeah, I'll just go that much more. So you have to slam into me because Aha! You see yep. what I'm doing? Yep. I'm I'm forcing a boarding action here. But first, I'm gonna rake the shit out of you at close range. This should fucking hurt. 
the light of Petra. When firing a broadside, roll a separate bonus broadside die. If the target draws a damage card as a result of this separate dice, it must take a set ablaze card. So I only roll three dice. One of them is the blue dice. And then I'm going to hit on fours. But now since I'm raking you, I think I'm going to hit on threes. Yeah. And this is my first broadside, so yeah. I Five. get... No, so I'm hitting you on threes because of the first broadside. Yeah. And the modifier to roll to hit, so I'm hitting you on twos. Wow. Yeah. Because of raking and broadside. Because of raking and, and first broadside. broadside. First broadside. Yeah. First broadside. So. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Damn the fucking light of you, Petra. Of course one. I roll a one. Eh. Okay, but this one did hit the okay. fucking light, so draw one down. Oh, no. Um, you have to actually save, so save. Yeah. Two hits. Two hits. I need sixes. Not a one. Okay, so uh, draw one damage card for the normal hit. Okay. What is it? It is double crew. Okay. Dead. Are all your crew dead? No. Okay. Uh, take two crew damage. And so how many crew do you have left on that I've ship? I've got one. One crew left yes. and two health, two hull left, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see if this next card can do it. Uh, this is the shot from the uh, fucking Petra. Uh, so draw a damage card. Okay. And speed. Speed is takes one. Damn it. Okay. So no, no, you don't blow up. No. But you do draw a set of blaze, so maybe that will kill you. Which Get a status card that says set of blaze. Yeah. Set of blaze. Okay, got it. What's it say? Read it for me. One second. Yeah. All right, so set of blaze. The warship is on fire and uncon <laughs> uncontrolled uh, conflagration eating through... Yeah, conflagration. Uh, eating through timber and melting metal. Roll a d6 for each status phase. On a roll of one or two, draw another damage card. A successful repair order uh, sp specifically allocated to this card allows it to be resolved. Okay. Dis discarded. Well, you are going to uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do die that. if you don't do something about it next phase. Yeah, I'm going to have to do an order to repair. <clears throat> All right, that is the end of turn four. We're moving into turn five. Let's roll for initiative. All right. Two. Six. Fuck. I'll take it. All right, meaning uh, you want me to go first or you to go first? I will go first. Okay, but before you do, this is where the status phase finally comes into effect. So yeah. read that uh, set of blaze cards. Yeah, so I got to roll a d6 for each status phase. Okay, so yeah. if you roll this, this is where the yeah. game ends right here, if you fail this roll. Well, not necessarily. I just have to... Um, well, doesn't it cost uh, one damage? Yeah, well, I just do... Yeah, I just take that one. That's oh, the damage card. Yeah, it's the damage card. Okay. But that card could kill you. It could. Six. I'm good. Oh, I thought six fucked you. On a one or two, it, do, it okay. does a damage card. Roger. Okay. Um, there's no more statuses, so we're moving on to uh, fate cards. Yeah. So, so you chose I to go first, and then I'll go second. Yeah. So oh, this guy's probably just trailing, right? Yeah, I wanted him to trail. So I don't know. He two. moves at six. Yeah. This is fastest move. <coughs> Okay. In case you didn't know what we were doing, we, we were trailing the sea monster. Trying to uh, bless shot loaded. Uh, discard this card when this ship fires its next broadside. Once the broadside has been resolved, the target draws damage card until it draws special damage card. Applying it and discarding the rest. So basically, you're loading some magic yeah, shot some into magic one shot. of you. Which yeah. ship are you giving that to? Uh, that, this Go one ahead right and here. put it on the ship yeah. card. All right. Um, what is the rotation of the uh, wind? So four counter. No, four uh, clockwise. All right. Toward you. Yeah. So one, two, 
three, four. Yeah. Okay. I am now. And it's at two. Okay. Two. Ah, uh, well. Now I'm doing my fake card. Yeah. Storm of Magic. Put this card in play. Whilst this card is in play, instead of drawing a single fate card in the fate phase, each player must now roll two d6 and draw that many fate cards. You, this is the fucking it, stupidest card. Two? Look at this. Two d6. I'm drawing six fate cards. Oh my god. Uh, apply yeah. any spell cards and then discard the rest. So you're only okay. looking for spell cards. One, two, three, four. Well, that's that, that's for the future. Six. That's going to happen next time because it doesn't say right now. No. It says in the uh, in the fate phase. Fate phase. Yeah. While this card is in play, and I'm just now putting it yeah. in play. Okay. Whilst this card is in play, instead of drawing a single fate card in the fate phase. So that's going to be yeah. on turn six. Okay. Uh, apply any spell cards, then discard the rest. Roll a d6 in each status phase on a three plus. This card is discarded. So basically, the fake cards ruin this game. Yeah. All right. This one remains in play. It is going to come back to me six spaces, the win. So one, two, three, four, five, six. six. And what's the win? And Power. speed seven. Wow. The wind is going crazy. So it's not going to actually affect either of my ships. It'll affect yours, yours, maybe, maybe. Actually, and it's gonna affect that one negatively if we get that far. All right. Well, Your you other one. chose to go first. Yeah, I'm going to go first. I'm gonna have to go ahead and ram you first. Mm -hmm. So. All right, so All right, when whenever you make contact, base contact like that, it is counted as an immediate board in action. Yeah, but and I'm happy you did that because we get to see this yeah. other cool mechanic, the dueling captain. Well, I have a ram attack before that. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so this um, the swordfish may make a ram attack, uh, provided the majority of the target's warship base in the uh, swordfish arc. Yes, which is it? yes. At the end of the swordfish movement subphase, the target targeted uh, warship draws D6 minus one <laughs> uh, damage cards and deploys hull, any hull cards. So that's pretty pretty good. Yeah. All right. So <coughs> it's three hull, uh, three damage cards. Okay. And if there's any hull cards, those are applied. Okay. If not, the rest are discarded. discarded. Okay, let's hope that I don't get any hull. Uh, first is first mate. The first mate has been killed. Well, no. Uh, magazine. Uh, part of the ship's magazine explodes. Well, no, that's not a hull. And got a hull card. The target takes one hull damage. So the magazine is not <coughs> hull damage? No. Mm -hmm. It's a status. Special status, too. Mm -hmm. uh, this one says hull on it. Um... <laughs> All right. That's it. That's it. So one extra hole damage, yeah. and then you immediately start a boarding, a boarding action. Yeah. Uh, how we do that is... Just like we did before with the snakes, right? Yeah, to resolve. But before that, let's do the um, captain calling. <laughs> At the beginning of each boarding action subphase, immediately before the main boarding action is fought, the captains of each warship oh, yeah, yeah. will automatically seek each other out for a duel. It doesn't matter if one of the captains would really rather not take a part, even if the most reluctant combatant is soon forced to fight for his life. To fight a duel, each player rolls a number of d6 equal to their captain's swashbuckling characteristic. So here are the two captains fighting, just to see, show you what they look like. This is his captain, and this is my captain. Okay, those two guys are fighting, mm -hmm. and... My swashbuckling score is four. And I have a three, okay. but I do, better. I d do uh, get to re-roll 1d6 in each duel. Okay, well, uh, rolls one through four have no effect. Five through six scores a victory. Okay. Ah, get over here, you wench! And I can re-roll one. So you got one victory. Yeah. Two victories. Oh, shit, she's like... Ducking and dodging. 
Damn, only one victory. That fucking shit helped her. Yes, it did. Okay, what happens? Um, if one player has a higher total than the other, uh, she, uh, she wins the duel. And the opponent captain takes a wound. The first time a captain takes a wound, the owning player takes a wound card and tucks it under the top of the corresponding warship card so that the flesh res wound result is showing. However, if I take future uh, wounds, they can become serious wounds, horrific wounds, mortal wounds. That's pretty cool. Okay, uh, captain's command checks are suffering a negative one modifier. So, I know that's blurry, but... I am flesh wounded in that boarding act. Now the actual boarding action happens. Yeah. You're lucky because this ship is uh, not too good at boarding actions for and it's crew. It's, it's a lot better. That's all what you have? No. It's, well, number one is better than mine, but I'm down two crew. Oh, shit. So how yeah. many crew do you have? One. That's I have right. one. <gasps> I can kill you here. Uh, there you go. Beat that, sucker. That's one victory, one right? Vi yeah. I just need... You two need one. Victories. Yeah, well, yeah, two. But it will only draw a damage yeah. card, right? Yeah. So you may not die. Yeah. We'll see. You may win. <gasps> yeah, one. A tied. It's a tied. And when you tie, you both draw damage yeah. cards. Right. You take that first one, Jay. I'll take the first one. I'll take the second one. And take the second one. And? Oh, my mascot. Chip's mascot. The warships we love mascot has been killed. Ha <laughs> <laughs> The crew fight. Harder to avenge his death. Oh shit! The that's a good thing. And its captain have a plus one modifier on uh, all the. <laughs> I like that cool yeah. little thing. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. I actually like some of these mechanics. Yeah, some of these aren't too I bad. But I absolutely hate others. Yeah, some of the cards are like yeah, whatever. But keel, the warship's keel or center line is broken. Each time this warship changes heading with the hard a port or hard starboard order uh, on a four plus, the warship will draw damage cards. Uh, well, I will never use that order because I don't want that uh, bad effect to happen. But you crushed uh, uh, our, our heal. heal. Cool. All right. So I think we stay there, right, till next turn and just redo it, do it all uh, over again, let's right? See. I think you, yeah, and I have the advantage here. I think I might win this if I could keep you held. No, uh, one thing that you could do was the escaping jeopardy, and that's probably what you're going to want to do. Um, yeah, but that, that wouldn't be until next turn. Right. Yeah. I was hoping that fucking... Instead uh, of taking a normal movement, a warship that is in base contact with another web, uh, model can attempt to escape jeopardy. You take your command check with a negative one modifier plus any other modifiers yeah. that are affecting you, and then you can take off. Okay. Uh, who's next? That's you. Oh, that's me? Yeah. Because um, you rammed me right yeah. now. So actually, I can go with this guy. Yeah, but you would have I to, would do, have to the do the Jeopardy. Yeah. That. Or I could just stay there and continue fighting yeah. with you. If I do the Jeopardy, I can move away and then turn and then lay into you. But that would give you exactly you, what you need to run away. But you'd have to go at least three, and, and then if you go three, you'd go have a chance hitting that thing right there. Uh, yeah, the thing in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> so you might want to stay right there. Okay, I think I don't know why you're helping me, but I think you're right. Unless you're trying to trick me, and I need to think about this more carefully. It could be. <laughs> could be. Yeah, I think I'm fine because the whole objective is not letting this chick get off. Uh, so we need to prevent her from doing that. So instead, I will try to turn this ship around to contribute to the battle somehow. If only I can flip a bitch. Oh, shit. What we do? No. Um... So the speed, wind speed is seven. Right. So I must. You have to at go seven. Minimum go seven. Yeah. Fuck. That sucks. My speed is ten, so I can only really make one turn. Oh, that was the worst time for the fucking wind to, to do that shit. Oh well, no, because the wind is um, still technically no, affecting only my side. No, no, no. Because the arc, see his arc. You're in. You're. 
in the wind. <laughs> because it's in your ass. That wind is in your ass, so you're going fast, man. What? Get the fuck out of here. No, the wind's not in my Yeah, man. I like how you turn the thing here. <laughs> Look at it right there. That's 45. That's yeah. 45. Yeah, that's 45. But then where it show me the uh, the wind uh, indicator. Yeah, that's right there. Okay, so the wind indicator is right there. Yeah. Okay, that's a that's 45. The, that's the way you do that one, right? This is how miniatures games go. Well, put it, put it back. Yeah, right there. But look at how these are two completely okay. different things, right? I can't even see which is which. There, see, look, uh, look right there. Yep, you're in it. You gotta go seven. Isn't that crazy? Like how you can kind of manipulate things. Get a piece of paper. Do it. Yeah. Okay, I'll go seven. I mean, I don't, I don't really care, but I just. I like looking at these mechanics to see it's like how many arguments would this cause in oh, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, against players that are like ah, ah, no. so seven woo <laughs> flying. I like that this uh, I like that this game it has the, that comes with this, but I don't like that it's a single sheet. You know. It's clear yeah. that the neoprene mats have been discovered to be a superior. Uh, uh, but how do you get one of these big mats. sheets in a fucking box? Right. That, that's the that's the, the other conundrum. Right. conundrum. Yeah. They want to just hey boom, yeah. and it kind of actually makes waves too, even though <laughs> yeah, that it's wrinkly, subtracts which I hate a half a centimeter. I, like or what? I don't like, like it. it flat. I like it flat. All right. Gets my OCD well. I'll get, I guess I get a moral victory here, and we'll we'll just broadside you. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll rake you if we could go uh, speed 10 <coughs> and we add the wind with us. <coughs> oh, yeah, fuck you. I was gonna rake your ass. Yeah, I don't care. I know. I don't like this game. Yeah, well, I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Either. I like some parts. Of I it, like some parts of it. But, I like I like the flavor. Generally a fail. Yeah. I, I like the fav the flavor. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the mechanics are too, uh, too clunky. So I don't think that's close range, but it is raking. Let so me plus one. Let me hit. It's let medium. Me, let me help range. you out. Let me help you out. Medium range. Yeah, it's medium. Uh, so medium is fives uh, down to fours yeah, for raking. Yeah, I only like that. Only one hit. I'll take it. I'll take it. I got my crew. That's fine. They suck anyway. Yeah, and it only gets worse if it's a full fleet battle. Because oh, man. I, I can't Could even you imagine think all about those it. cars yeah. that say at each stat, each yeah. ship status effect? Yeah. So, whoa, 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 what? Yeah. Because there's like five at each ships phase inside. And there's, what, like 20 phases or no, there's only six turns. Yeah, well, but, but phases those in a one turn. cards that affect each ship would get fired off. Well, right, yeah. yeah. All right, um, so that was that, um, and I think we're done. Oh, actually, I got the space. Uh, we finally, let's see a sea monster attack. So the sea monster. Uh, no, it's my turn. Oh, it's your turn. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to get out of there. No, I want to see the sea monster. It's only two dice, Jay. Yeah, Let him get want, you. No, I don't want to. Let him get no, you. No, fuck that. Fuck that, dude. Uh, I'll go in. To do, to do. The twelve. So I'm gonna go five. It's a fucking shame because five. I love these miniatures. I these, know these painted miniatures. Look how cool this is. Maybe I should fix this game's rules, and just you know, you have a house ruled version of Dreadfleet. Five, and then I'm gonna surprise the Games Workshop like. I don't know. Didn't play test it enough. Or just let it go out the you. door. Did you touch my base? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just gonna shoot you. Son of a bitch. Touch my base. No. Touch my base, Jay. Nope. I'm not that kind of guy. <laughs> um. So I've got a, the broad side with the blessed shot loaded. So again, this one does. Mm-hmm. The broadside resolve the target damage cards until it takes a special. Applying this, uh, applying it, and discarding the rest. 
Dread Fleet Resurrected. Yeah, what would y'all call uh, the Angry Joe version of it? Dread Fleet Resurrected. Dread Fleet Remastered. Dreaded Fleet. All right, so the Bless Shot. So you're going to take us something until it's special. All right, so what is it? Force, right, because I'm short range? Yeah, short range. Yeah, fours. But the, but the, oh my three. god. Just three. Okay. I think the armor on this one was a five plus. No, no. fucking blocks. So you you just, just take them. Up three damage. No, you keep on taking them until. <laughs> Once the broadside has been resolved, the target draws damage cards until it draws a special. Until okay. it draws a special. Yeah, so. Is that, is that a special? No, it's a speed. Is that a special? Uh, hold on, let me no, apply no, you, all you, of these. No, to you throw them away until you get the special. Okay. This is a hole, so it's not a special. Special. The, the specials are probably going to hurt even more. No. Speed. Special. Crew. This is fucking dumb. Uh, special. Head gunner. The head gunner has been killed and the coordination of the gun decks temporarily ruined. The warship suffers a negative one modifier to its broadside in the next broadside subphase. Discard this card at the end of the next broadside subphase. <coughs> That's it. You hit me three times, bro. You hit me three times with special ammo, or yeah. you only hit me once with the special one, ammo. I think it's and one. And the other two hits yeah. are normal hits. Yeah, I think the other two hits are normal. Okay. It's just one time. Okay. Yeah. So Those two. Uh, that's a whole hit and a whole hit, and I've got three whole hits. Uh, luckily, the Bloody <laughs> Reaver is the most powerful oh, ship. Five. It's six. Six, uh, six whole. So I'm at <laughs> half health on that. Even after taking a, a wonderful, massive broadside like that, I laugh at you. Yeah. The Bless Shot is <clears throat> discard, discard this card when a uh, warship fires its next broadside. Once the broadside has been resolved, the target draws damage cards until it draws a special. Oh, so you, you take three. You three would special. take three, and then you keep on drawing until you take the specials and resolve. So you would take one more. Here. Gun deck collapsed. The entire gun deck has collapsed. The warship's broadside reduced by one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm coming. Yeah. I'm coming. All right. I think that's pretty much it. And then this gets discarded. That's not big. It's not it yet because we need to resolve. This is the main. This is what determines everything. Okay. So we are in the uh, broad side or the, I'm sorry, boarding action. So do the captains fight every time? Or is it only the opening salvo? Let's see. At the beginning of each boarding action subphase. Captains, let's go. All right. So my captain again, swashbuckling four dice. You have three dice where you get yeah, to re-roll yeah. one. Yeah. And it's There's fives and one. sixes. There's one. And oh, two. now I'm fucking you up. I won three. Uh oh. So take uh, one damage or take a flesh wound. Yeah. Uh, which is just the, the wound card. Wound card, but the top of it is revealed. Flesh wound. Yeah. So I got you back, bitch. And now we do the command checks. Yeah. yeah. Negative one to your command check. Yeah. But my crew of four versus your crew of three. Or no, your crew one. of one. So here's where I win. Five and sixes. Yeah. You fail. Nothing. If I get one. Five yeah. or six, then the Dread Fleet wins. God damn it! <laughs> Can it not be so oh, merciful? Man. I was hoping for mercy. I was waiting for it. I was, I was like, hoping wait. for mercy <laughs> yeah, and to end it. Okay. Oh my God. Well, then, then we go into the final turn because there uh, is there only five turns or are there I six? I thought it was five. I'll double check. 
Please tell me it's five. The game lasts for six turns. <laughs> All right, let's roll for initiative. Oh. Ugh, I get initiative. Yay. <laughs> six. I'll take it. Take it? Okay. Yeah. Because uh, I want this over with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so my fake card, your fake card. My fake card, mere friends. From deep waters rise. Oh, is that friends or feet? Beans. Beans, yeah. Beans. Uh, from deep waters rise web fingers. Ooh. Fingers clad in seaweed for him. <coughs> Pouring from between <laughs> their needled fangs. Oh, these guys, I think. Ooh. Each warship that is not within three of an island. Oh, status first. Jay's on fire. I forgot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Tris. Time. God damn, I'm always on top of things, boy. You're the best. Uh, on a roll of one or, one or two. One or two, you Come lose. on, one. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you want this over badly. Yeah. Um, okay. Each warship that is not within three inches of an island or shipwreck piece must immediately resolve a separate exclusive boarding action against uh, mere friends. Uh Crew of D3. All right. These two are safe, but those, those two, two yeah, are those not are safe. Damage to mere friends is ignored. Okay. All right. What do we roll? So we'll do mine first. Yeah. Roll a D3. That's how many crew they have. Okay. Let's do yours first. D3. Go. Here's your D3. Oh, shit. Put it next to it so it looks cool. Yeah. All right, so they have a crew of one, mm -hmm. and then I have a crew of six. <laughs> I think you're gonna win. There, I got, well, I got one. Oh my god. Yeah, but you, the the enemy needs to roll. Yeah, you roll. Oh, I gotta get one. I got one. You both take damage. Yeah. Don't right. matter if this guy takes damage. Oh god damn it! I'm going up against a crew of three, <laughs> <laughs> and my it's crew is. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. The it's a slowly capsizing. <laughs> the warship is slowly capsizing. <laughs> it's like, it's like not uh, not damaged at all. Yeah, but the, if at any point there are no damage cards in uh in the deck or damage discard pile then the warship finally capsizes immediately and removed from play what if there are any point if at any point there are no damage cards in the damage deck where we still have cards in the damage deck okay all right whatever well wh <laughs> what does it do otherwise uh, just until okay, so once once the damage deck goes away, then fucking it's then destroyed. Then you yeah. Okay. Well, okay. I need to fight my my fucking guys. Holy shit! I kicked their fucking ass. Uh, I got four I victories. Got I got one. Yeah. Get the fuck off my ship. Yeah. Get off my ship. Okay. Well, that was just your fate. Okay. Let me do the so clockwise three. Go that way. Oh. And then the wind's at four. <sighs> One, two, three. Okay, now I'm going to do my fate. Lector, Lazo's fire. The masts and rigging of the warships are suddenly illuminated by crackling discharges of raw magic. Roll a d6 for each sailed warship. That's uh, three of these ships yep. on the fucking game board. Yeah. And on a roll of one through three, that ship must draw damage cards until it draws a speed damage card, applying it and discarding the rest. So it won't kill any. One through three. Yeah. Okay. So I only have one. I don't have to do it. Okay. My uh, this one over here. Oh, of course. You have to do it. <laughs> so just here. I've got a speed damage already. Well, no, no, you gotta, gotta, you gotta draw it. it. Yeah. You gotta draw until you get a speed damage? Yeah. No. Which I don't think you discard the other card. Yes, it does. It says. Okay. Discard them. Through that. Yeah. Discarding the rest. No. no. So this is helping to get you to a closer cap size. Yeah. Oh my god. The drift. 
Freaking, oh my god. Freaking. Oh my double god. Double crew. You're going through half the deck. Tri triple speed. There you go. All right. You're going. Yeah. Yeah. And Camps then up. these are all discarded. All right. That's wonderful. This game sucks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do for your uh, female <laughs> captain. Uh, yeah. She has to do it too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Capsize. Oh Let's go. Double speed. First one. Right away. Yeah. All right. So. <laughs> so there's a bunch of speed damage from that. There's, yeah, four speed. And then my card uh, says zero on moving the turn uh, thing. Uh -huh. uh, so thank God I don't have to move it. And then the new speed is four. Wind speed four. Blah. All right. We are officially uh, <laughs> done uh, with that. Yeah, that was but good. that was the fate. Uh, now we do actions. You chose to go first. Yeah, so oh, Tristan's saying we got to do D6 fake cards for that one. Yeah. Oh, the Storm of Magic. Put this card in play. While this card is in play, instead of drawing a single fake card in the fake plays, each player rolls D6 and draws that many fake cards. Apply any spell cards and discard the rest. So th that shit was never supposed to happen because we needed to do this card. Oh, Remember? There's okay. just too much bullshit going on, but let's play the game All right. as All right. directed. Yeah. Okay, so. so draw, roll 2d6. So what about this the speed? This is so fucking stupid, what about I want to do it. What about the speed stuff? What do you mean the speed stuff? No, that never happened because that came so. from your fate card. So I put the speed. speed. We'll just get rid of the speed. Again. Just get rid of the speed. That yeah. shit never happened. My shit never happened. Your shit never happened. Whatever. Yeah, we're we're not going to triple double speed. Okay. All right. This is what actually two. happens. 2d6, my friend. 2d6. Two two? Yes. What? That's why it's dumb as five. Fuck. So five fake cards? Yeah. All right. One. <laughs> Apply any spell cards and discard the rest. Are there any Three, spells? Three. Four. I think there's all, this one. Four and five. How, how many spells did you get? Um, Only one spell? Status. Status. Remains in play. Yeah. Okay. Just let one. me let me roll real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking Give me serious? nine fate cards. All right, here. It's one, two, gone. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Merry Christmas. <laughs> um, so there's a reason why Dreadfleet was scrubbed from the Games Workshop website. You can't even find any reference to it, even though other out-of-print games you could find reference to. All right, so tell us your spells. Oh my I god. I got one, Wind two, three. Three. Okay. That we're going to resolve. All right. So this first one is Wind of Ashe. <sighs> Ashe, the Wind of Magic manifests, manifests a, as Searing Flame. Uh, blow strong. Each warship must roll a d6 on a roll of a one. The warship uh, must pass the armor or be set ablaze. <laughs> <laughs> if so, put a blaze card <laughs> next to the warship. All right, this All is right. for my bloody reaver. Uh, what was it? Uh, a one on a one. On a one, on a one, it gets set ablaze. Yeah. Okay, I rolled a three, so I'm fine. Okay, so this one, my uh, uh, held hammer. Held hammer. No. And my other ship. No. No. And then it's only a one. Yeah. That's lame. This one, swordfish. It's already fucking on fire, so it don't matter. Okay. Y then your your, do you do your last one? No, I think we need to do your. No, your yeah, other last shit. Okay. Yeah. We're good. Then I'm good. No. I thought you said you had two spells. No, I only had one. Okay. Here are my three spells. Hellfish Swarm. If the Bloody Reaver is in play, yay, it is. Then at the end of its broadside subphase, it may discard this card to target any warship within 18 inches. That warship must fight a separate exclusive boarding action against Hellfish crew. D3. Damage to Hellfish is ignored. Okay, so that's for me. Yeah. The Sands of Time. If the Curse of Zandri is in play, it is! Yay! <laughs> Completely random. Then at the end of any duel that Am Amanhotep, Amanhotep, wins against a single enemy captain, he may discard this card to automatically reduce that captain to the mortal wound result. Ooh. Does that mean that basically at the end of turn six I kill you? You could. A yeah. mortal wound sounds like a kill to me. 
Let me see if I just ended the game with that card. Mortal Wound. The captain is down and bleeding out, possibly dead. He can automatic. He automatically fails all command checks, yeah. cannot participate in duels, and can no longer use a special ability. Okay, so technically your ship can still sail still, yeah. while you're bleeding out. And then finally, Living Tsunami. Ara Center's prayers bring Manan, Manan's wrath down on her foes. If the swordfish in play, yep. it is, it's you. And then at the end of its broadside subphase, it may discard this card to choose a point on the seascape. All warships within D3, 6 inch, D3, D6 inch range take D3 plus one hits, roll separately. Oh my god. But all of our ships are together, yeah. so you'd just be fucking your yeah. No, because you could place it behind me and then make sure. No, because then you would have to roll randomly and you could accidentally include yeah. one of your ships. But okay, so that's what's going to happen in this turn, and by God, we're going to fucking play it out. So, I, got, I got initiative, right? Yes, you do. All right, so I'm, we're, we're going to fight over there first so I can fucking die. Okay. And we so can call us. This stat is this one uh, movement, which you ram into yeah. me. Uh, we do the captain because it happens yep. every single time. Yeah. So uh, I roll four, you roll three. Yeah. I got two victories. All right. I got two victories because I got a plus one on this what? modifier, and I get to re-roll this one. Why? Because the mascot yeah, died? Yeah, the mascot. So I got two victories. All right. Well, so we we're tied. tied. So we each get one damage? I think so. Yeah. Uh, Both captains take a wound. Yeah. If oh, a player we has a higher wound, total wound. than the other, uh, well, you do a, a first time you take a wound, you do that, uh, taking further wounds. Every time you take a further wound, uh, adjust the wound card so that the next most severe oh, okay. result is showing. Serious wound. Then. Serious wound. What is which does? If the captain is hurt and hurt badly. Oh, the captain is hurt and hurt badly. Perhaps he loses a hand. Perhaps he's been impaled on his enemy's blade. His swashbuckling has been reduced by one. Gotcha. Now we fight the actual boarding yeah. action. Here's where I could potentially kill you. Yeah, please. I know. Put I'm me trying. out of my misery. I'm trying. How many people do you got? I got one. one. I got one, dude. Let's see yours. Uh, two. There you go. So you fail to do any victories. Yeah. All I need is one victory and for you to draw the right damage card. Yeah. Yes, I got two victories. All right, so Draw two, two damage. damage cards. One of those better be a hole. No, oh, come on. Anything. Oh, triple speed. Oh, all right. All right. Oh, yeah, fucking more speed. None of them are whole? <sighs> triple speed and a speed. So I'm down uh, six speed. Okay, hold, hold on. So how many cards does that fucking ship have? I have one whole card. No, I want to know how many cards total have been put on that ship. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that fucking ship has taken seven successful damage, yeah. and it's still not dead. Yeah. It just, it's just annoying. So this is why X-Wing and Armada have the damage card system, but each damage card it's is damage. a damage. It's a damage, And yeah. then there's status effects on yeah. top of it. So they took this system and improved it. Yeah. Because right now it's it's dragging the fucking game out. And this is two ships each. Imagine we're rolling with Man, five if we ships. Were, yes, five ships each. Five oh, ships I, each. We, I would kill myself. Yeah, I'd, I'd bang my head against <laughs> I'd get angry. Uh, that's funny because the guy that wrote that review, who was a former GW yeah. thing, he's, he did play it out. It was like four hours by the time they were oh, done. Yeah, no. uh, and he's a veteran at playing yeah. these types of games for four hours. I can't see this. Fuck, I still... Okay, so you tried to kill yourself. You didn't kill yourself. Let me try to kill you. Yes. I can either do the broadside by trying to escape, but yeah. no, I think... I don't know what... what no, because then I would allow oh, you to Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I still got to do this, oh, right? Oh, set a blaze thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, is it every I think it's every status phase? Yeah, because you're not repairing. You need to remember that you yeah. needed to do a repair order, but oh. your fucking crew are I all forgot. dead anyway. Oh, my gosh. I forgot. Let me see. See if you get set ablaze. See if you get set ablaze. Yeah. That looks like no. a high roll. No. You do not get or you do not take further damage. Except Damn it. <coughs> Instead, we'll fight another boarding action. All right. 
but I think I win the game because you I prevented you from well, yeah. leaving. Well, yeah. Well, you do. Let's see if I yeah. kill you or not. Yeah. So here's the Captain Duel. Uh, I only got one victory on the Captain Duel. Um, you're down by one. <laughs> right, we're both down by one. This is the Captain Duel. Yeah, the swashbuckling is down by one, so you All lose right. one dice. You're right. And I, I'm Three only dice. at two. I have no victories. Uh, I can reroll one. You have no victories. I get one. One yeah. victory. So I go from a serious wound to a yeah. horrific wound. Yep. The captain has suffered a life-threatening wound. His head has been gashed open, or one of his limbs has been hacked away. Reduce the captain's swashbuckling by one to a minimum of one, and impose a further negative one penalty to his command chair. Yeah. Okay, now the actual boarding action. Yeah. This is the only opportunity I have to kill you, but you have to draw the no. right card. No. And I have to roll fives. I got two fives, Good. so two more damage cards. Right. Please tell me it's a hole. <laughs> There's a hole. And then a rudder. Was the rudder a hole as well? No, it's just a rudder. I just I gotta go. Uh, the warship's main rudder. So finally, it, it, you did you did draw a hole? No, I yeah, but it, the I have. The first one was a hole. I have three hole. I only have two hole cards. But you said the first. Oh, so you've only ever drawn one hole one card, hole card this yeah. entire fucking game. Yeah. Yeah. And you just drew your second one yeah. now. So I need two more hole cards. God. Or one more hole one card to hole sink. Card. Yeah. I cannot believe that system. Yeah. They fucked that. Playtesting would have. Uh, the that. warship. Main rudder has been badly damaged. Its handling is increased to two and cannot issue port or uh, hard port or hard starboard orders. Yeah, what do you do? Mm, okay. All right. Uh, now we'll go over here because uh, we got these ships left. So you went, I went. It's your goal. Yeah, uh, I guess I just ram into you. Yeah, do a ramming. Yeah. Ba bam. Okay, let's uh, do this swashbuckling. So, yeah. you ram the wrong ship because this guy's really good at swashbuckling. Uh, He's a five. Two victories. Okay, so um, two victories. Yeah, I have <laughs> a command swashbuckling of three, but. I can reroll all dice that are not victories. Ooh. That's pretty pretty good. So I've got two there. Oh wow, you equaled it, and you might be able to beat me. Oh shit! Watch, watch out! Oh no! All right, well we both get one suit, one, one uh, flesh wound. Where's it? Been? There it is. Here you go. See, this system sucks because yeah. it doesn't feel like it. It doesn't really feel does like much. I mean, it, even it if putting a uh, it's putting a modifier, a negative modifier yeah. on our ships, but. but it, even so, even if you killed the dude, it really, I mean, the ship can still fuck around and, yeah, I don't, I don't like that. There's three victories. There's no real two victories. detriment to losing your, your captain. Yeah. yeah. I got two victories. Two victories. I have a crew of four now because two of them died and then I get zero. Okay, whatever. Ooh, take two damage cards. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. I've been <laughs> chain explosion. A barrel of gunpowder yes. <laughs> ignites in a chain in explosion. Yes. The war warship's broadside characteristic is reduced by two. Ooh. It cannot fire issue a fire as she bears. Oh, I think okay, that's whatever. the worst one. Is yeah, that but it doesn't damage? do anything. Yeah. No, it just does broadside negative. Fuck. It just says you, your broadside goes down. And you have negative one hole already from one hole card. No, I don't. That this ship one's has fresh. no damage. Yeah, this this one's fresh. Okay. Are you sure that yeah. the, the, the ships don't take damage unless they draw that hole card? <laughs> it, that's what it says. I'll double check it. Okay, speed. Right. And speed, so no hole damage. Unless. So you still have yeah. three hole damage. Yeah. Or I you have yeah. still have three wounds, rather. Yeah, four holes. Yeah. You have four holes. Yeah, on this one. Fuck. It's so hard to sh destroy these ships. It's just frustrating. But get this, my sea monster finally, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what this asshole does. He's been chasing Jay the whole fucking game. He is a sea giant, a titanic sea giant. Its slimy flesh, ravaged by the curse of the undeath, rears up out of the water to attack the intruders. So this has a crew. Uh, so we're doing a boarding oh, yeah, action, yeah. essentially. 
I forgot about that. One. The Sig Sigmar's One Wrath. Uh, that's not, not a big deal, though. Fuck I Sigmar's could, uh, Wrath. Well, I could ro roll, when I hit you, I roll a d6 minus one, mm -hmm. and the, your warship takes that number of damage uh, cards. Is that is the guy's special or whatever? Discarding any special cards and applying the rest, yeah. All right, so good. I was supposed to do Fuck that. It. Yeah. Do it. Let's re play the game right. So two cards. You just get two cards. If there's any specials in there, yeah. then you um, throw them away and take the rest. I took speed damage so. and crew damage, like I give a shit. Okay. okay. Um, so I got one victory with the sea monster. Uh, what? Roll your crew. Crew? Okay. Four. I got one victory. You both take. We both take one damage. All right. Wonderful. The sea monster has a hole of three. So, uh, figurehead. <laughs> the warhead figure is seriously damaged. Oh my gosh, come on. Is that hole damage? No. It's a special, so I can't use my. Figurehead. There is not enough hole damage in this fucking game. Yeah. The captain suffers a minus one to all their D D6 rolls on boardy action. Yeah. Are we playing that right, Trist Time? That the damage cards don't actually do hole damage? Not unless it says it, that's what I Man, we're think, fucking man. idiots if we've been playing wrong the whole time. And it might fix the game a little bit. Um, yeah, we've been there. Hole, speed, or crew reduce the corresponding char characteristic yeah. by one. Yeah. The corresponding characteristic, yeah. not... All right, and then you got the right. specials in there. You got the yeah. Yeah. statuses in there. Okay. Um, did you take? Yeah. No, because you didn't take any hull damage. You took. Uh, I took uh, the figurehead, a special figurehead damage? and a speed. So what does speed. the figurehead damage do to you? I'm just curious. It just the captain suffers a morale minus one, um, minus one on uh, modifiers for the next boarding action. All right. Well, and that will end the sixth turn yeah thank you um if both of these events occur before the sith uh if the grand alliance breached the walls was your first objective yeah um in which you actually did uh, breach the walls you blew this uh, up and your captain chick sh uh jumped in and then fucking hauled ass to try to get out i stopped her right yep so the fundamentals are there but, and then the swordfish must leave one of the escape edges. If this doesn't happen by the end of sixth turn, uh, the Dread Fleet player wins. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> I won the worst uh, games. Of, oops. <laughs> yeah. Um, yay! <laughs> I won the worst um, games workshop game. Yay. Yeah. It's two random eyes it's it's very randomized and is very clunky i think yeah it's um so hold this on, hold, is on not hold on hold on jay wait wait till that normalizes because i never okay. got to press that one that one's gonna take a little while yeah. <coughs> all right go ahead all right so what i was saying was i think it's too randomized wait. too 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 much random uh yeah. happenings going on and then it's it's too clunky. It it's not for someone to pick up in a couple hours and play and throw down. It's just bad game it, design. It, it's very because bogged down. I mean, you don't know a who lot it's of, for. Yeah. I, if it was for kids, you know, because it's so randomized and it's fun. It's like, oh, look at these sea creatures yeah. are climbing aboard. I love all that thematic shit, but you have to balance it in a way where it's not just, you know. Uh, slows the game to a crawl. There's a lot of rules in here that you got to keep track of. There's a lot of bloat, you know. It's it's like the bloat is ridiculous. It is. Look There's at this. so much. Look um, at all the cards that this ship achieved. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like fucking eight cards over here, and yeah. and I only really took one damage because I only have one hull damage card in all of this. And then this ship. Two hole there. This ship didn't take any Three. damage, but <laughs> if we go through the damage deck, it's yeah. sunk. It's dead. And I've got six hole here, so you know. Yeah. What kind of shit is that? So basically, it, it takes forever to kill. It, it's just not fun. Yeah, no. 
It's not fun. No, I wanted I wanted out of this game. This is the <laughs> turn uh, three. So I might actually agree that it is the worst Games Workshop game that I've played. That, yeah. So let but let's run it down. So okay. components. So first price. The price is actually not that bad by today's standards. Yeah. As things got more expensive, it's kind of in line with the box set, yeah. right? And I actually like the idea that you buy a self-contained box, everything is there, you play 12 scenarios, you're good. Yeah. If it was a good game, maybe that's not what Games Workshop players want. They want it expanded constantly if they're going right. to invest in a system like that. But I didn't mind that. And it's I wish this game, didn't yeah. fail so that we yeah. could have seen other one-off games. But this game failed, and it scared them off. Number two, uh, what, do you, uh, but what do you feel about price? Price, no. It's... It, it, you get everything you need to play. You get a lot of nice cards. You get a nice, nice uh, rule book. You Bunch get a of lot ships. of nice terrain. Nice terrain. terrain. I think the price point is is, is fair. Okay. It's good. Components, love them. Yeah. Games Workshop, Citadel miniatures. They're beautiful, especially if you fucking paint them up. And you never really got to see all these other ones here. So I'm actually going to feature these other ones right now, so that you can see them. Because I don't want to play this again. <laughs> so, there's what these look like. Those are some of the rest of them on the Dreadfleet side. Here's some of them on the Grand Alliance side. You got like an, uh, an El Eldar or an Elf yeah. kind of thing. Some Dwarf kind of things. Yeah, and then magic you got one, all yeah. of these cool auxiliaries. Like little tokens. You got a dragon, a dwarf, like blimp thing. Very cool. So the components, great. Uh, now we go to the rules. That's that's yeah. where it falls apart. Yeah. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Say one positive thing about the rules. <sighs> turn, turn. I like I like the turns. The, the little turn counter, and you turn. And but other other C games, every single C game has that. Yeah. And they uh, do it just the same. So. Yeah, I like the I like the 45 degree. That that was great. That. That anything. helps out. Yeah, and the turn. That's that's about it. I do like the idea of the captain's dueling. Yeah, but there's but the implementation there's, is not that. Good. There's there's <laughs> no uh, reward or 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 you know detriment to either of the captains. Right. It's okay, I lost. So what? Yeah. I give flesh wound. Yeah. Okay, I I lost again. <laughs> Four times. I got another. Flesh I'm mortally wound. wounded. So what? Okay. Negative one to my yeah. command who, check. I don't, who I don't really care. Yeah. 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 There's no big bad thing that happens to you if you die. Now, if the captain dies, or you lose additional crew, or the ship is immobilized, that kind of stuff makes it quicker yeah. to play, and you can get into another one. You can do another one. Um, the ships take too long to kill, so it kind of drags out. Yeah. That's why games are overly bloated. The, the biggest problem is having a phase where you draw two fate cards, yeah. one, one for me, one for you, and, more and a enough. lot of the text on the fate cards bloat the game even longer. One of them was like, draw two D6 worth of fate cards and resolve all of the ones that say spell on it. Yeah. It's like- For each player. For <laughs> it's like- For each no. player. Yeah. That's like, that card should have never made it past the, the playtesting. Yeah. And so the fate uh, phase bloats. The fate actually takes longer figuring things out and moving the wind and yeah. shit. When so many things to track. It, it so many things to track. And then, the, and then the final thing is the actual uh, firing and broadsides. That is average at best. Yeah, it's that's just fine. to yeah. hit, uh, to wound. Oh, breaking fire, saving, then, yeah, but that's yeah. in every naval yeah. game, so you don't get anything for that. No. You know, it doesn't feel super unique or something. No. So, for Dreadfleet, uh, what would you give this out of ten? I I think I would. It's definitely below average. There's no way it's five, because that's average on my scale. Yeah, yeah. I think this is like it purely for the components, the kind of universe. I, I could maybe give it a two, maybe maybe. There's so many problems with the rules. Yeah. I don't want to play the other scenarios. Yeah, no. There's 12 scenarios. The first scenario is nothing. It's just we're two ships fighting. Boxing it up. We're putting way Burn in the back. Gone. Yeah. It's, this is a one-off for me. I love... Well, I, I want to know. Since we're never playing this again, yeah. I want to know out of 10. Uh, so I, I do... I do. 
like you said, I, I like everything else about this, the, the visuals, the history, the lore, yeah. all that stuff is awesome, yeah. but it's just, it it's painful to play. The it, system, it, it, the system is just too, too much to track, especially if we're just trying to get it in. And, it's and, so and weird. It feels like a first time game designer and then he wasn't checked by anybody yeah. at Games Workshop. I think, I think it, it's probably the opposite. It was a long time game, game designer. Through, oh, I want to throw this in there. I want to throw this in there. I want to throw this in there. And these, all these things will match up and fucking play well. No. It's uh, written by Phil Kelly. This is back when they were actually putting the names on who, who yeah. writes the rules. <laughs> they don't do credit. that anymore. <laughs> giving people and credit. I hate that. I want Games Workshop yeah. to give people credit again. Yeah, but in my book, I, I'm, I'm right there with you. About a two. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe a three just because... Some Maybe the if there was cool, a, a nice scenario in at. here that's not so. quite with five ships each, but not quite. I actually think this might be one of the better scenarios. It's like yeah. thematic, and then it, and and we still yeah, it is know. really thematic. They're, they're fighting in the the citadel. They got to get escape, and yeah, it can't pretty. get any higher than a three from us. Yeah. and that's kind of counting all the stuff around the game system that we like, the components, the universe. Uh, the averageness of some of the game mechanics. Yeah. I will say the one thing that was that, that was cool is that like the ship damage system, it just got way better in X Wing and Armada. They took yeah. that system and made it far better. You um, should you should have damage to the ship and the still ship. these these special cards. And then special effects yeah. on top on of top that. On top of that, yeah. That would fix a lot. You remove the fate phase and you fix the ship damage, or and you can make this a quick little fucking thing yeah. that's beer and pretzels, and it's fun, yeah. and it's geared towards kids and things. I understand what they're trying to do with the fate, but it's just it was too much. Too much. Maybe one card. One card know, would have been better. Or whatever. Or if you're going one for card, that. Or have a, 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 a possibility of a card to yeah, come yeah, up, yeah, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I'm with you on that. So... Like the bones are, it's like this is the first draft. Yeah. And then you iterate this thing three times, and then you might have have something. Yeah. But I totally understand. The, I understand the people that were upset that it wasn't Man of War two because I'm upset that it wasn't Man yeah. of War two. And I think I think that that probably would have been a <laughs> and better that it's way a bad to go. System and <laughs> that it is it, and that it costs a lot. So yeah. I get it. But the components are cool. Um, maybe I can use some of these ships in my Man of War game. Yeah. And I could definitely use the terrain in my Man of War game. But because I invested a lot in it, the game I actually have two copies of Dreadfleet. Oh I God. bought one, and I was like, I'll assemble it and paint it. And then I was like, fuck that. I just bought the painted set. So I'm going to have to sell that other one to yeah. some unsuspecting person. Yeah. And can I then, try this? That's good. Yeah, no, I won't, <laughs> I won't do it. Um, but, yeah, I can probably use some of these components in Man of War, um, which we played earlier in the year with our buddy Ray, and everybody enjoyed it. We really liked it, and God bless Ray and rest his yeah. soul. And uh, I would like to play Man of War again, and maybe we'll use some of these miniatures yeah. in it. But Pass. Pass on Dreadfleet. Let's go back to the future. There's a reason why they scrubbed it from the website. <laughs> Let's go back to the future. Let's go back to the future. I need some 40 case. Yeah, yeah. 40, 40 something. 40, I need 40,000 universe. All right, guys. All right. Thank you all very much uh, for watching. We appreciate you. I fucking love Warhammer Wednesdays and yeah. hanging out with you guys. Thank you very much to Trist Time, Thanks, our local guys. rules master here on Warhammer Wednesday. Um, if you want to, for whatever reason, uh, torture yourself, you can check out Frontline Gaming, who may have this in stock. I hope they don't have it yeah, in stock. I, I doubt they do. Because <laughs> that's I doubt, that's I doubt where, anybody does. That's where we're going to get some of our stuff yeah. at uh, a good percent off of MSRP. We buy it, and they have terrain, mats, everything that you're looking for. If you want to get into tabletop, we yeah. just recommend not this one. Not this one. All right, guys. Yeah. Thanks a lot. See you on the too. next Angry Joe Show. Bye. Later, everybody.